And I buried this for 10 years, 11 years. And it's destroyed me from the inside out. Developing tonight at 11, devastating allegations from former NHL player Kyle Beach about the sexual assault he says he experienced while playing for the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, this story is rocking the Florida Panthers tonight. In an emotional interview on Canadian TV, Beach talks about the abuse he endured at the hands of the Blackhawks video coach, Brad Aldrich. And here's the South Florida connection. The head coach of the Blackhawks was current Florida Panthers head coach, Joel Quenville, who Beach says knew about the allegations and did nothing. CBS 4 Sports anchor Jim Barry joins us live from the FLA Live Arena with more details. Jim? Well, guys, this story has really just exploded. Joel Quinville was on the bench tonight coaching the Panthers, but you have to wonder if his NHL future is on the line. As you mentioned, the coach accused of ignoring alleged sexual assault and then lying about it. I felt like I was alone and there was nothing I could do and nobody I could turn to for help. Kyle Beach, now 31, plays pro hockey in Germany. But as a 20-year-old NHL prospect, says he was sexually assaulted by the video coach of the Chicago Blackhawks in May of 2010. At the time, Joel Quenville was the team's head coach, who recently denied knowing of the allegations. There is absolutely no way that he can deny knowing it. Beach says the Blackhawks swept his complaint under the rug, where it remained until his claims were corroborated in a probe just made public by a Chicago law firm. The most damning accusation about Quenville comes from a Blackhawk executive who quit a few days ago over the scandal. Stan Bowman has quoted Joel Quenville saying, and this is not a quote, this is my words, but saying that the playoffs and the Stanley Cup playoffs and trying to win a Stanley Cup was more important than sexual assault. And I can't believe that. The Panthers hired Quenville two years ago, impressed by a lofty resume that includes three championships and the second most wins all time by a coach. Thursday, he must go to the NHL offices in New York to tell his side of the story. Tomorrow I'll be meeting with Gary Bettman. I look forward to continuing to contribute to the process. I won't comment any further to the appropriate time after I, I meet with the commissioner. Beach says he was sickened that the man he accused of abusing him was still welcome around the Blackhawks, even after losing his job. The player told the Canadian TV interviewer that he tried to bury the past until he discovered that his abuser molested a 16-year-old hockey player a few years later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't do more when I could to make sure it didn't happen to him, to protect him. Now, for the record, Brad Aldridge says his encounter with the player was consensual. After tonight's game, we did not hear from Joel Quenville, but we did hear from his boss, Panther Jim Bill Zito, who said the story out of Chicago is, quote, deeply troubling. We are working closely with the National Hockey League to assist with the ongoing process, and with respect to that, we'll not comment further until after the commissioner's meeting tomorrow with Joel. Will he still coach the team? Uh, so not going to comment. I respect you guys. So there you heard it. No more comment tonight from the Shell Shock Panthers, whose coach will meet with the NHL in New York tomorrow afternoon. Live in Sunrise, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports.